For the first time, we are seeing video from a police chase in Oklahoma City after two deputies were shot. One of them was killed. We're also learning disturbing new information about the suspect who apparently had nearly a thousand rounds of live ammunition stored at his home when those deputies showed up to evict him. Nicole Burley has a closer look tonight at the footage that was just released by investigators, giving us a clearer picture of what really happened that day. New video tonight of a high speed chase across Oklahoma City. God's part about white male driver. He is firing from his window. Pure chaos. Just minutes after Benjamin Plank allegedly shot two Oklahoma Sheriff's deputies serving eviction papers. Plank fled the scene in a pickup truck towing a speedboat. Some 20 law enforcement officers in pursuit, frantically trying to stop him. At one point, a deputy clips the back of the boat, but then Plank opens fire, hitting a squad car multiple times and sparking a shootout on the open highway. Eventually, Plank gives up. You can see him here holding his rifle out of the window, coming to a stop outside Tinker Air Force Base. Deputies run up to Plank, slam him to the ground, tase him and take him into custody, marking the end to a tragic day in the law enforcement community. Tommy Johnson with the Oklahoma City Sheriff's Office opening up to Marty Hughes on News Nation Prime. Officers did their job. They maintained a level head and they handled their self. And officers from each and every agency handled themselves with the utmost professionalism and respect during this traumatic situation. Nicole Burley, News Nation. If not for their actions, it could have been much more deadly. Deputy Bobby Schwartz died as a result of the shooting that day. He is remembered as a devoted member of law enforcement, a father and a grandfather. He is the man on the left. Deputy Mark Johns was critically injured. He was released after several days in the hospital. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.